Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Everybody, come on, turn your cards. There you go. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing all right. I'm not doing too bad. I'm hanging in there. Kayla's in bed. Anxiety was running a little bit high, so. You know what I do to resolve that? I get in the car and go for a little ride. I don't have to stop anywhere to do that. I could just get in the car and just go for a nameless little ride and then just go right back home. It helps ease a lot of stress. And I know Pennsylvania is under a stay at home order and whatnot, but I spoke with a Shaler cop a few nights ago. And I told him, hey, you know, with my anxiety running high because of this whole virus crap, one thing that has always eased my anxiety and stress in the past was just going for an aimless little ride in the car. Even if I'm just riding around, I don't stop anywhere. I just go in a, basically a big circle and go right back home. And he said, you know, it's so hard to enforce the stay-at-home order and why people are in their cars driving around that he said no cop should ever harass me for that. I'm not, like I said, I'm not stopping anywhere. I just get in the car from the house, go in a big circle pretty much and go right back home. So I figured I'd take you for a little ride here. I started off in Heidelberg. Well, Carnegie rather, near Heidelberg, but started in Carnegie and I'm just running the uh, Parkway West Interstate 376 towards the Fort Pitt Tunnel. I hope all you guys are all doing all right. You guys are all friends. We're all in this together. And I know this isn't much, but I hope just a simple little driving video can, uh, help ease your minds too, if it does at all. It, you might think it's dumb, but I don't know. I thought I'd take you for a little ride. A little virtual ride. We're going to be heading to the Ford Pit Tunnel, and once we get through it, you'll see the, the skyline of Pittsburgh. late at night. Boy, there are a lot more cars than I thought would be out on the road. First of all, let me make uh, this perfectly clear. I want to give a huge shout out and props. Holy cow, this guy's going fast. Speed limit's 55. About to be 50. I'm doing about 60 right now, and that guy's probably doing about 70. But, yeah, I want to give a huge shout out to all of our essential workers right now, with everything going on. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody who's working, including, but not limited to, our healthcare workers, our doctors, our nurses, our grocery store employees, gas station attendants, employees of every essential business that is still open, restaurant owners, and those that still have a job, thank you. Your work does not go unnoticed. We're very grateful. Kayla is included. She's busting her back right on the front line of this pandemic. And she's just one of thousands out there that are still working to put food on the table for us. She works in a place that is life-sustaining, so thank you. 
thanks to her and everybody else. By the way, here we are at the Ford Pit Tunnel. Let you enjoy a little bit of a ride as we go into the city. Let's go through another tunnel. Let's go through the Squirrel Hill Tunnel. But yeah, many thanks to all of our friends and family and loved ones out there that are working through this. Taking the risk every day to make sure that people's health is a top priority to make sure that there's food on the shelves for us to buy at the stores so we can feed our families ourselves. We're strong. I'm, I'm feeling optimistic and, you know, for someone who has mental illness like me with depression, anxiety... You know what makes me strong? It's all of you guys. I felt very weak recently. And last week was ugly. But you guys, Kayla, everybody, you help make it better. And in turn, I want to try and help make things a little bit better for you. You guys know I have a backlog of videos. working on my uh, Lycoming Mall video right now. I'll have that up very, very soon. As well as all my other videos. I still have a handful from the Outer Banks I didn't get to yet. <coughs> my friend Nate, that Nate guy on YouTube, He's been a huge help in this all, too. His videos have been a strength for me as well. Because for 10, 15 minutes of my time, I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm focused on his RV videos. Or like last night's video, when it was trying to tornado in Ohio. That helps. And fun fact about that. Last night I went for a little ride like this, late at night, it's a little after midnight right now, and I drove into Beaver County not knowing that storms were approaching, and all of a sudden it starts lightning as I'm getting closer to Baden, where the Baden Ames was that I filmed my first year, and it starts lightning like crazy, and I'm thinking, something's not right, that's not heat light. <laughs> so... I pull over and I look at the weather app on my phone. And to my surprise, I'm under a tornado warning. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn around and head right back home. So, and then it, it, it came really fast. The storms came and it was lightning and it was thundering. and The winds were up to 70 miles per hour. And fun fact... I get home safe and sound, no problems. I actually sat under an overpass for a little bit because of hail. And I didn't, you know, I didn't want my car getting, you know, all dinged up from hail. I already lost my job from this virus. I lost my sanity. <laughs> and things have been really bad. So I'm like, the last thing I want to do is lose my car, too. I don't want my car being all wrecked with uh, hail, hail damage. Like, I know it could be fixed and whatnot, but... So I sat under an overpass, and we got home fine. 
When I get home, you guys know I live near Shaler Township, Millville, that sort of thing. 20 minutes to the north of us up in Terenum, near the Pittsburgh Mills Mall, a tornado did touch down. Now, it was an EF-1. Winds were about 100 miles per hour. Nobody got hurt, but a lot of damage was done up there. The trees, some buildings got damaged, but nobody got hurt, thank God. But what a crazy night. And, you know, I've always loved the storm chase. I used to do it in the past a little bit off and on. I'm no professional storm chaser. I just, I've always been thrilled by it. And for that little bit of a ride, my mind was taken off this whole pandemic bullshit. Nate's video made it fun, though. <laughs> He's on the porch. I think at one point a hailstone flew into his mouth and he swallowed it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm going to take you through the Squirrel Hill Tunnel. I figured, why not? I'll take you through one more tunnel here. Why not? Going for a little ride. It's nice, too. There's nobody on the road. This is another reason why I like driving at night. I'm doing about 65. Speed limit's 55. How fast do you think this guy's going in 3, 2, 1? <laughs> what are you in such a hurry for? Heck, what am I in a hurry for? check in with you guys. I hope all of you guys are okay. Thank you to everybody who's checked in with me to see if I'm all right. Everybody who's wished me a happy birthday. Everybody who's checked in with my videos. Thank you all. I really appreciate all the support and love from you guys means a lot but I'm gonna wrap up this video let me know what you think of this if you wouldn't mind me doing another driving video like this at night or even during the day just for fun and uh, I'll do a couple more so thanks for watching everybody hope I was able to make your night a little bit better love you all and again thanks to every essential worker out there everybody we're all in this through thick and thin. But pat on the back to our nurses, doctors, healthcare personnel, grocery store employees, gas station employees, everybody. Mechanics, therapists, everybody. I, I can't even name them all. Everybody that keeps this world moving. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to head home. I'm going the totally wrong direction, so i got to make a U-turn. But, yeah, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Kmartlicious day or night. And I'll talk to you later. Stay tuned for the next video. Good night, everybody. Bye.